Keep watching Emmanuel TV. It's the best solution of the country. Okay. I, Banku, Fresh, this is Emmanuel TV. Keep watching me, YouTube, and everywhere. Say Banku about. After a victory against the Eagles of Mali, the Black Stars of Ghana look forward to doubling it against the Wild Beasts of Central African Republic. You'll be going to enjoy the highlights of the match, but before that, please subscribe to this channel. Tap on the post notification bell for more updates. Like the video and share to other social media platforms. Let's enjoy the highlights of Ghana versus the World Beast of Central African Republic. Yeah. And looking to make it two wins on the bounce against uh, the Central African Republic. We will be playing in that blue strip going from right to left. Thomas Party at the heart of the midfield with Salis Abdul Samed and immediately. Jordan Ayu gets some pace in his legs and draws the foul. And Ayu looking interested. They might come through. Yeah, Ghana. There's appeals for a penalty and celebrations because it has. It was Isahuku running through. The Leicester man was tripped. The last line of defense, he certainly looks on side from that position. Then Ayu to put Ghana 1 0 up in this match day four. There goes Ayu, and it's a solid penalty into the bottom right hand corner. Ghana 1, Central African Republic no. It's that man, Jordan Ayu. Six goals in his last five games for Ghana club level but wearing the white colors of the black stars oh boy does he know where that goal is solidly planted penalty putting Ghana 1-0 up using his legs the space opening up in front of him Kudus has a man on his left where is Ayu Kudus with his left foot and a simple save in the end is stopped side of the box here it will be an in-swinging free kick there is Kudus going for the back post and there was a free man Salisu claiming his shirt was tugged in the process we just see him climbing a little bit and just not getting enough jump comes Jordan Ayu. Ayu again and uh, the ball just not dropping for him. Well, you do wonder if he could have found his man but the defense was all over 80 minutes this time out. Ghana now fighting. Kamel Din Sulemana. 
Suleimana doing excellently well. He can open it up here. Suleimana tries for the right foot of Kerla. Jonathan Panzer applauding the effort. For that delivery early. Kudus was lurking. It comes into the park now and well. A strike was on the cards very much for Summit. Yet to score a goal for Ghana. Found himself just in the pocket. The ball bouncing up a little bit too much off that. Don't be a cat gathering the scraps. He picked off the toes. The Ghanaian showing a little bit of industry, but somehow the ball does manage to squeeze its way through to Sole. And now the Central African Republic have a man, Luis Mafuta. Mafuta again. Mafuta! Oh, it's through the legs and it's 2 1. Oh, roaring. It was all this work here by Sole. And then Mafuta breaking the most of the yardage ahead of him, fooling the defense and a little toe poke right through the legs of Lorenz Tiziki. And astonishingly, astonishingly, it is the Central African Republic 2, Ghana 1, that come from behind after that early penalty. Ziggy won though to the Central African Republic. Ghana this time kicking from right to left with Jordan Ayu over the ball. Getting things underway for the Black Stars. Thomas Pati out. Once again the ball just stuck under his feet and uh, Kudus waiting patiently, anxiously in a way. Hoping that it will ultimately come his way. Here is Kudus trying to work it on his left. Mohamed Kudus into a very good area. Suleimana out over the bar. Best chance of the half so far. Kamaldin Suleimana. His second start for Ghana. And he should have done a lot more with that. Just head over it. That's all it needed. In swinging left footed free kick into a decent area for Ghana and all the way past the far post. It looked like it was Mensa with the final touch. It was Mensa who says that everyone expects the Ghanaians to win. and left back and now another driving run by Mohamed Kudus finally finds his man Suleimana Suleimana if he can cut in and Suleimana well that's a tame effort ultimately working it out well comes out onto the right wing and uh, Kudus calling for the ball he'd love to receive it at the top of the box he does get it Mohamed Kudus with the strike and again down the throat of uh, Gun. he'll take those shots around and now Kudus switches play Gideon Mensah that's a very decent looking ball and it should be a goal it is two goals in the match for Jordan Ayu and the quality of that cross by Gideon Mensah it was begging for it the king on his throne from that crossfield pass Gideon Mensa had the time and space to look up and what a curling delivery it was begging to be planted away by Jordan Ayu's head Kufegan tried to dive down Kudus finding Mensa on the far side oh and isn't that a peach of a delivery Two goals apiece for Jordan Ayu, now matching those two goals by Luma. 
trying to go around the outside. It's well defended in the end from Dovia. And uh, that's a bit of a mishap of a pass. It falls into the path of the Ghanaians. They can get it up. Pocked it. And a strike. And then oh, it's deflected. Oh, would you believe it? Again, two goals in just the space of a couple of seconds. The scenes at Palayara. Ghana is 3-2 up. It's a response like no other for to other side. You have to ask yourself, where were the defenders of the Central African Republic trying to get the ball? Pati with an excellent touch. And it is a cool deflection in the end. But you have to take your shots. Coming off Tavolna's left boot. Adam faces a forward. And now Bonner can come in for a fourth. And it does get squeezed into the net. Well, there's no chance to breathe here. Three goals of well, the referee asking for play to resume as soon as possible. He thought the ball might go out here. And it was just that save at the end, possibly by Yufe Gun, which allowed the offsides to not come into contention. That touch. Oh, he had to make the save. That driving run by Ali Dusebu. The strike by Kudus. And it was Ayu with the final touch. A hat-trick for Jordan Ayu. Now, all the concentration has to be on the wall for Ghana. 4-2, and the game looks safe. 4-3, and all of a sudden it's a different story. Here's Mafuta going for the goal. Oh, it's a strike, it's a goal. It's the second hat-trick of the night. Louis Mafuta knew exactly what he was going to do with that effort. So guys, these were all the joyous moments and actions from the Kumasi Bayara Sports Stadium, a slightly contested match between the Black Stars of Ghana and the World Beast of Central African Republic. This highlight was being sponsored by Herald Trading Enterprise, your home of quality anti-pimples, anti-dandruff, and soft skin cosmetic products. I was being supported by my hardworking chief editor, Emmanuel Kwame Asietu, and my amazing graphic designer, Dominic. Just drop your decent comments in the comment box. Let's meet in our subsequent videos. Bye-bye.